Good afternoon. Welcome to the Andas Resort on the Papagayo Peninsula in Guanacaste, Costa Rica. You all know me. I am Cordell, the culinary diva, and I'm always saying welcome to my kitchen. And every time you see me, you always see me in a different kitchen because I travel the globe cooking in different kitchens all over the place because I'm that person, okay? So today I'm going to cook a delicious meal and take you on a journey. I went out into town, into Guanacaste to purchase my ingredients. Um, I talked to some of the shop owners. I went to a soda, a soda, if you don't know what that is, it's the equivalent to what is called a diner in America. So I curated a delicious meal and it is hot in this kitchen and I am going to turn it out. Yes, it is time to make some jerk beef or at least marinate it and then I'm gonna grill it later. But I made my legendary jerk sauce. If you don't know what the recipe is, you can always always uh, go to my blog at deliciousexperience.com for now but i am going to be taking it down because it is going to be in my book but this is my legendary jerk off i did change it up a little bit because passion fruit as you see passion fruits in almost everything i'm making today so i added a little bit of passion fruit to the jerk sauce it is still also spicy i use panamanian hot peppers because i could not find scotch bonnets here um, it's still just as delicious I got this beautiful piece of beef from Carne San Martin. This is a local butcher. You, everybody knows me that I always go local. No matter where I'm at in the world, I always go local. I do not shop big, big box at all. I prefer to make sure that I support local and small businesses because that's what we should be doing. If you are not doing it, shame on you. So I'm gonna cut this into one, one inch steaks so you kind of eyeball it, have a very sharp knife. You can cut this par frozen as well if your knife skills are subpar. Of course, my knife skills are perfect, so I don't need to have it partially frozen. And as you see, this is coming out beautifully. And of course, my knives are amazing. So make sure that you have a really good knife. And it's gonna look like this. You see this beautiful piece of meat? Do you see the marbling? And that's what you want, a little bit of marbling, but not too much because this is a lean piece of meat and it's gonna marinate great in this jerk sauce. And when I grill it up, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna make you wanna slap everybody next to you. That's what it's gonna make you wanna do. Cause that's what my food does. It's called slap your mama food. So let me cut this up. I'm gonna get this sliced up and put the marinade on. I like to do this and then start to prepare my other dishes so that this marinates. It doesn't need to marinate long, 30 minutes, an hour, um, because beef is very porous. And the sauce, because of the uh, pectin in the peppers, it actually permeates the meat faster. So there is a science to this. If you don't know the science to it, you need to study your food. Unless you don't care and somebody else is feeding you, then good on you. So I'm getting this all cut up. And I'm going to cut all of these slices into slices, but let me show you what I do to, to marinate. I just take some of the jerk sauce and I get it all over the meat. And you want to do it in small batches like this anyways to make sure you get enough marinade on the meat instead of trying to put a lot in a bowl and move it around. And then you're doing too much. Don't be doing too much. Always take your time with your food. Food is love. so. If you rush it, then it's hate, and then your food's gonna taste hateful. So, get this all, see how I'm getting that all mixed up and marinated really well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that getting on there. This is gonna be so delicious. I have all of my pieces fully covered. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this to another container. I'm gonna finish slicing this beef, let it marinate, and next I'm gonna be making a little snack because I think that I'm a little hungry, the crew's a little hungry, so I'm gonna make some patacones and I'm gonna make a pineapple mango salsa to go with it. It's gonna be delicious, nutritious, and maybe we might have a shot of that sangria so we can turn up a little early. Why not? Who knows? So let me continue doing that 
and we'll continue on through this journey of this beautiful meal that I am curating just for you. So now you know I have to do something jerk. So as part of my heritage, of course, jerk steak, which has been marinating. It's nicely marinated, so I'm gonna throw these on the grill to get charred. Char grilled steak is the best. You don't wanna, I mean, you can pan sear it, but char grill doing you and jerk, the absolute best. So I'm gonna get these steaks going. You saw me marinate them earlier. And this is going to be epic. Epic, epic, yes. Yes, I can already taste it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna let them cook. I want them to cook to a uh, medium or to a medium rare. I don't like overcooked steak. So I'm gonna let that go for about uh, three, four minutes per side and take it off. So let me go ahead and continue uh, letting my steaks grill and then we will come back. Had to heat this grill up. As you see this beautiful char on the steaks. Oh, they're gonna be good. I can't wait. Oh yeah. Uh, a big gigantic pile of steak. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. This was a lot of work, trust and do believe, but I slayed this meal. Yes, you have your chicken. This is your delicious passion fruit barbecue chicken. You have your culinary diva ceviche, hello. You have your jerk steak. You have your gambas al ajillo. You have your ahi tuna jerk style, and you have your patecones. This meal is absolutely a work of art. I did the thing, Helio. It is absolutely beautiful. I wanna thank Andaz who helped me out. So Andaz, Costa Rica, Peninsula Papagayo, Guanacaste, amazing. You need to come, come to this place, come visit it, come stay here and hang out. Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful places on earth. I am the culinary diva and my food is not only beautiful, but it's delicious.